um, a lot of people are really liking the brown one. The brown one is like smoother to me. Both yeah. of them are good, but I know a lot of people really like the brown one. And uh, you know, a lot of a lot of tequilas are good, but it's kind of strong. This one is smooth. I'm not just saying because I'm the ambassador and um, I'm the face of the tequila right now, but this is a really good tequila because I, I love tequila. Also, right. I like champagne, but this is one of the ones that is going to be around for a long time. Hey, you made that sound like I don't even drink and I want to drink tequila the way you just made that sound. And I, that's smooth, bro. This is smooth. <laughs> And I, I would say I'm the tequila aficionado on the show. So they going down the line, you never know, Mike Whoop might pop out, you know, he might come with. Eventually, I want to start my own vodka line, the whole thing, because the pool that I have in my own city right here, born and raised in this quarter right here, uptown, people love it. You going to have haters all over, but if you ain't doing nothing, they ain't going to say nothing. So you just got to keep moving. I think we, we have a lot going on right now, and I think we have a powerful movement right now. Okay, what what thing um, I also wanted to ask you about was, was is it the same like sort of scenario with sneakers and everything like that? Yeah. The sneakers was hot, you know what I'm saying? They, yeah. they, they definitely yeah. got oh, yeah. They are still. But, but I heard you got some new ones on the drum though. Yeah, I just I just uh designed another shoe. Um it'll be out the fall. And uh it was it was just a blessing, man, because the people yeah. uh Patrick Young brand didn't know who I was. But then once we did the numbers, they was like, who is this kid? <laughs> so so and now it's, it's just like, just more work to be done. And still stay humble, still stay the same. You know, we just got way more work to do. Sure. Man, you are one of the most humble brothers I've met. I come across a lot of people in the city, but one, one thing, and a lot of people, period, that out that, you know, might have some type of esteem, but you are very humble, bro. Like every time I ever came across you, it's nothing but love as if, as if we grew up on the same block, you know right. what I mean? I'm saying you gotta know who you come from, man. A lot a lot of people I see in the industry, they fall and you can't really reach it no more, or they think they can't give people hugs or handshakes or sit down and give a little kid 20, 30 minutes of your time or talk to a person that's down or just a fan in general, just wanna talk to you and see what you've been through, what can get them on the next level or try to look at you and be like, oh, I wanna do what he doing or be better than him. You gotta always be able to test the people. Right. You, you doing all this, but you still find the time to do what I'm assuming that you love to do, which is still like, that's put on hell of a show in the back. Yeah, that's, that's my life right there, bro, so it's like, that's what I do and then like with my management now we work a lot of things out. You know what I mean? Because at first I didn't have the that backbone with that management that we can work things out and I can hop on the plane, hop on the train and make this move and come back and run and do it again. So I just actually finished shooting a whole series in Brooklyn, New York called a Deuce on HBO. That'll be out this fall. And I play I play a cook on it. It's uh, based on extortion, prostitution, gambling in the 70s. The same people did the wine. Okay. 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 All eight episodes I'm on there. I play a kid named Leon. I, I own an all day diner. She's a cook. Like breakfast, all kind of food all day. We have a lot of entrepreneurs that tune into this show, man. I, right. I want you to uh, kind of let them know the importance of having a team behind you to help you get to the next level. Man, I think I'd have probably been further, but everything they say happens for a reason. Because uh, sometimes you can't get the right people around you. I've been doing this for a minute, and I can never get that right team. It always is somebody that I get, I think I'm moving, and they stealing, or they hating, they not giving me the email that I need to make to break me that day to take me over here with these people. So you have to have people around you that you can trust. All kind of people come to you, all shapes, sizes, and colors. Man, they might try to do all type of things, but you just got to really dissect them and let them know that you got genuine people around you, man. Because, like, you got a lot of powerful entrepreneurs out there that's really being held back because they got sour snakes around them that they can't really get out the garage. Right, man. Yeah. Dang. Stay with me, sour grapes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I have a question too, man. How have you dealt with being famous as long as you have been? Like, you've probably been famous as long as you haven't been famous. So, how do you, how do you, like, I, we were talking off camera earlier, and we were saying, like, 
after Mary and Barry died, and, and after Chuck, you were the most famous person in DC by far. Yeah, and I think I'm, you are Mr. DC. Right? Like, you you are that's are not I just think I just think it's our people in our city, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Basically, they keep me up. You know what I mean? We rock out on Instagram every day, um, Facebook. And sometimes my, my manager will tell you, I be feeling down, man. I might be having some down days. And my fans will pick me up. Yeah. Sometimes they might inbox me with some bullshit. I love that bullshit though, because that bullshit, I, I, I dissect it. You know what I mean? And sometimes you might have a dude that might start off with some bullshit, but he end up with some good shit. Yeah. So my fans keep me up. People in my city, because you know how DC is. They don't really trip. They be like, oh, they go Big G, man. We love that they keep moving, they fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they fuck you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't so, getting them on the cut line. So, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's the bitter with the sweet. But then when I'm in New York, you might got a motherfucker that might just give you a hug and squeeze the shit out you. We got to get, damn, let's sit out, man. We love you. Hey, man, what's up, man? We love you, man. Let me buy you two bottles of champagne. <laughs> so you never get, you know, but my city keep me up, man. And like, I know where I come from, so it's never nothing on no, nothing big head. I don't like sections. I don't like the, the red ropes. I don't like VIP. That's what another thing people love me because I just, I'm out there with the people. So they keep me up. So basically, people, in a nutshell, what he's saying is, don't be at the cut line while he on stage warming up a backyard, send him inboxes and selfies, someone let me in, cuz. He don't want that. Man. I get that all day, but it's cool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's actually do that? This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I want to ask you. Uh, basically, like, where do you see uh, our culture in D.C. going at this point? I mean, especially with gentrification and all this other wild shit yeah. going on. Yeah. Like, yeah. it seems yeah. like that's an excellent question. We run out of spots to even have no go go. Yeah. 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 We gotta what keep moving, see? man. As um, long as I got breath in my body, bro, we will not ever stop our music. And I had too many meetings to sit down with Chuck. He told me to keep our music alive, so. I got so many different strategies right now that we working on, bro. that we ain't even gonna have to work on that shit. Cause, cause we be Washingtonians and we'll be, I, I'll be a failure if I even let. Cause we got so many people moving in. And I've been, if y'all follow me, I've been speaking, like, just speaking re-gentrification forever. I've been telling all the brothers, like, listen, all these little broke down spots and all that, they get me to buy this shit up. And I'm telling you, I, I've been telling them all the way back from when I was going over here and they had the little free classes over here in Howard. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's like everything you learn is for a reason. You got to know what's going on. So we get ready to start shooting short film. We get ready to start doing everything. I'm just getting ready to get all the way gorilla on everything. And all they, they, they can do is follow my lead or just stand on the side and watch. Hell yeah, we got to keep it going because I seen it like maybe yeah. six months ago, I seen it. Clip on Facebook, <laughs> a whole group of our European brothers and sisters dancing junkyard. Shit. <laughs> 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 shit. Yeah. 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 It's, it's like it's so many cultures. Like we we played at the funk parade yeah. right down here, and it blew my mind how many different cultures of people were out there that love and knew all our lyrics yeah. all the way out. So it's just the opening up at Capitol Hill and down at the Wilson Building, just letting them know that we are music, man. We are movement. We, we're not here to, to, to put nothing down on anybody. We're not here to hurt anybody. We spread love. We didn't, we've been doing big things. So I can go play in New Orleans and we can play all the way to 4 5 in the morning with no problem. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we should be able to do that in the district too. You know what I'm saying? Where, where we from, where we made this music, Chop the City. Yeah, they don't understand. They don't understand. Go Go literally is the heartbeat of the city. You know? It's no no disrespect to no other genre, but every city and every culture has their sound in DC. That's our sound. You got a lot of people that come from city. You got a lot of transplants. Matter of fact, it's a certain club. I ain't gonna mention the club. I do business with But every time they open or reopen, and you wanna throw something there, it's like, oh, we don't do no bad, uh. But then by the end of the shit, 
They need backyard there Thursday, Friday, or Sunday. <laughs> they, they, they can't keep the doors open. Because we gonna sell. One thing we gonna do, we gonna we gonna get rid of all your liquor. Exactly. <laughs> and that's the only thing that's gonna keep a club open. You can have all the sexy couches all you want. Yeah. All the best But if you ain't bringing no people in there buying that wine, you gonna fail. Yeah. You ain't getting no dollars. I never got a wine. Shout out to many of back shows sideways. Yes, sir. I I got I have a a a question. Okay. As well as thing as well, like. I would say I am inspired by your grind. Just seeing you work hard that long. I remember seeing my my first back show in the eighth grade, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and reminiscing, you know what I'm saying? You played out what the coolest, you played out homecoming and coolest, you know what I'm saying? Right in the gym. And yeah, shit, man, that shit was crazy. Yeah. Man. My first my first back experience. But what I always wanted to know from you, he what is to, your favorite? Man, I, I, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I went to the black hole, the high shop for my first one. I got off the porch a little late, you know what I'm saying? Ain't it's nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Right. that. Bro, you, know? you got a little late. That's not hella late. Look, 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 look. I was snowing. Like y'all niggas wasn't doing my fucking game. I smell it to the palace and say we're close. Hey, look. I didn't got my belt taken. You know what I'm saying? My shoes, my hat checked. All I went that, to you know the Lapita one time. Yeah, I, I went to the Lapita one time. And at halftime, motherfucker, I hit. <laughs> Dad, your father's at the front door. <laughs> Show that you ever played, uh, or your most memorable show. That's kind of like, like, like real talk because Tupac just, um, you know, he just had a birthday and his, and his movie just came out. Mm -hmm. well, I think it was 8 13 93, I think. The Sheraton Hotel. Okay, okay. I look at my phone. Yeah, I looked that up on VA Palace. Man, I still got a ten. <laughs> yeah. I still got a ten. But that was Pop, man. That was the Pop show, man. And, um, he was at the show. Yeah, we performed with Pop, and he, when I set any style with him behind stage, he was like, man, nobody can stop y'all. You know what I mean? I watched y'all the whole show. Like, you know, you know, <laughs> nah, he had a, he had a bottle of Hennessy and the white eye. He had a white eye. <laughs> oh, man. He's like, man, it's like y'all got to keep. <laughs> and that was one of my favorite shows that I had, man. Scarface, man. We had so many, like I had so many favorite shows. But that's a tough one. Yeah, one thing I can say though, Scarface showed y'all a lot of love. That's my guy. Oh, right. Like, he showed you so much Scarface love. His first name Brad. So much love. I call him first name. Yeah, Brad. That was my guy. I got a question yeah, for you, homie. I've been following you. By the way, my, my name is Ed. We got a, a show over here. Okay. Okay. Hardest City Radio, man. I want to know if I can get you on there one night. Thursday no night. Problem, bro. This, this I, is working out with my manager with the time and the day. Yes, sir. I'll make it up. Yes, sir. And then I, my question to you, though, is, like, I've been following y'all for a long time. Okay. Between y'all and R.E. And I want to know, how were y'all able to keep the consistency of your band together for so many years? Or, uh, you know, over a lot of other bands in the city. Like, I done seen all of you two or three face changes over the years. And when I see Backyard, I see the same staff damn near for the last 20 years. Man, how have y'all been able to keep that, that, Man, we, that unit because, like that? Because we love it. First of all, and that's like I tell the shooters and the black bows, the little press, I tell everybody, just get you some a group of guys that really love the music. Not just because of the fans, the girls, and the popularity, just because you really genuinely love the music. Back y'all, we've been together, my same group, man, forever. That Buggy and Songs, I, I, don't, I, can, I don't even never have to turn around. I can call my signals from right here, and they know what I'm doing. They know this, they, they know my body, but they know what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna call, and it's just the chemistry, so. That's how we stay together, just loving each other, man. And just like being 100 with each other. We made that pot, man. We ain't gonna let no women come between us. We ain't gonna let no street come between us. We ain't gonna let no differences that we can't iron out come between us. So 
we made that pact, man, that we was gonna be gangster with it. You know what I mean? One hundred percent. So that's how we've been able to keep that line between love and hate. I, I tell you, my favorite yeah. thing about the whole background experience, especially back in the day, was those rants that you used to go on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, got, I, got, I, got two, I got two favorite rants. One when the nigga was throwing a penny at you. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody love that joke. And then the other one was when the, you cussed out the cameraman and you were not taking the picture. I thought it was class. I thought it was class. I was eating wings and everything. <laughs> This my nigga birthday, and he's back there with the cam on his head. My nigga, you want to be in the pocket. You know what I'm saying? So, man, that's, it's just like, man, we just go, man. And then, the, and then, then like, none of my, like, my drummer, he don't drink or smoke. But Congo play, he don't drink or smoke. You know what I mean? They religious guys. And uh, we've been we be keeping that good thing going, man. Yeah, well, we know, we know you got to get about it here, man. One more question. I just want to know your top five young uh, artists out of the uh, DC area Rappers? that you like. Yeah, top five. Man, I like uh, I like uh, Shaq Lizzy. Okay. I like um, Gold Link. I like Will. I like, Will. Will. I like um, Light Show. Light Show, of course, Light Show. That's my guy. We had him last too long though. I should say Light Show first. Fast. Big fella, you know what I'm saying? But he said younger, he said younger, like younger, yeah, right? Fast been out, of yeah. Fast been out a little bit. He, he been on the show you know too. I mean? as well. then, then you got, then you got the younger ones, like the females, like Reese Monet, Paul Shaw, them. Oh, yeah. Like it's a bunch of. I just love the movement and how we're finally touching that worldwide fame and yeah. rap because we got so much talent around here. And they just put us in that little box and they just look at it. Just go, 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 go. We gonna do what we do anyway. Right. But you know what I mean? These artists are coming up and then they sticking together. I, I think they should who? do a little bit more together. And I think it'll really be a real, real better, better, better thing. You know? Yeah. I think Uptown's doing a good job at rap as rappers sticking together right now. Yeah. The movement. I, I think yeah. we took the L with Swipey though. I yeah, we took a man. He was the next one to bottom blow. Was on his I way. Was on his I way. still show you. Um, what's my little man? This locked up. Um, Fat Trail. Nah, Trail. He been wow. uh, Trail has a motherfucker. Trail work. <laughs> <laughs> trail always had with his shit. He got shit that. <laughs> 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 he got get out. He got locked up. I know he gonna drop his shit out. He gonna he gonna drop his shit. <laughs> 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 so we got um, what's my man? What's what's the guy, man? That just got locked up. Young cat. Oh, I ain't talking about that one. Got locked up. Oh, bring them. Oh, bro. Tattoos and everything. They got tattoos and everything. Like, yeah, face tattoos, man. He got you know, the songs with um with Trail too. You know what I'm talking about? See, it's a rack of old niggas up here. Uh, nah, yeah. 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 We all dirty. We all dirty plus. We riding this guy. Y'all flop. Y'all flop. Flop. Oh, yeah. flop. I heard him. I ain't never yeah. heard shit though. Shout out to you, yeah. Young Flop. Yeah, Flop go. Flop go, man. He got that. You got a lot of you can't flop black. You got a lot of you got a lot of young dudes. We got a lot of them, man. But we got this lifestyle fest, man. Black Alley, man. The whole crew. We swim in fast and big fella. Man, this thing is gonna be off the chain. Man. And we you actually, we actually got down. some tickets for y'all. Too. Yeah, we got some tickets right here. Man. So we we gonna pick two people off Get the, your the tickets line. Now, we call me some of those damn tickets. Everybody, <laughs> we're watching on Listen Vision, man. Somebody shoot me a message or shoot me an email. You was watching live on Listen Vision, man, and I got these tickets for you, man. Ask oh. straight talk, don't chase. Yeah, or ask, yeah, or ask straight talk, don't chase. Instagram, on Facebook, on on man? SoundCloud, we everywhere on this one. Uh, Coach, so we appreciate you coming out, man. We know you got things, man. Please yeah. help me again, brother. But look, don't forget y'all out there, man. Check out this Malinati, love. My man is not a tequila drinker, but he will be drinking this shit after tonight. <laughs> <laughs> drinking that. <Damn. laughs> <laughs> you can face Pete Red now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it, baby. Big G, man, watch Stay Tone, man. Stay Tone, man. Murder's next time promoter. Come on, HBO. The Deuce, HBO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay Tone, Stay Tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay Tone, Stay Tone. Stay Tone, Stay Tone. Stay Tone, Stay Tone. Stay Tone, Stay Tone. We got Prospect coming, the movie Native coming in August. I shot Louisiana. Then we got the Backyard Project coming out. Like all singles with all the rappers in the city. We got a bunch of stuff coming out, man. Got the tennis shoe dropping, the hat and the hoodie. Oh, uh, man, what else? Ain't got no more puppies right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Down and out. Damn, you a true lost my guy. Can't catch me around with cocky man doing some uh, outreach in the community. I'm doing everything, brother. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So we gonna take five. We'll be right back. My seat, but I was drinking my Nolly inside. Tonight, so. We off the nine going studio. Okay. Yeah. Who is that? Yeah. 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 See that seat belt on. Okay. Drive safe.